Hey guys, it's Ona, your energy customer service rep from Chicago. Today is Sunday, July 8th, 2024. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. If you saw this morning's video when I was walking giblets outside, I said it was July 8th. I was wrong about that. The days kind of get marbled when you do shift work like I do. With that being said, um, I started a new position closer to home where um, I'm in the same kind of supervisory role as I was in the last job. And I am grateful for the opportunity to be this close to home because there's a lot going on in the city. Today is NASCAR day. We had Pride Fest, which I hope you saw the video it was just awesome. Um, and we will do the ear and water show after the 4th of July. That was nuts. I hope your weekend was safe. It's still happening at night. Last night, it, again, they had fireworks going and it's raining now. So if it happens again, I'll, I'll try and get some footage of that. Air and water show, which I will be on the roof for if it is too crowded or congested. I will be here and you will watch the Chicago air and water show. So there's so much going on. And kind of wrapping that up, the summer is going to be the DNC, who has already moved in. So they have to, you know, do all the structural stuff, all work with the United Center to change it all out, change the theater around, bring in security. That doesn't happen in August, it's happening now. So that vibe is pretty heavy. Um, a lot of helicopters all the time. That's going to be August 19th through the 22nd. The RNC is happening in July, July 15th through the 18th, so the end of next week in Milwaukee, which is about an hour and a half northwest of here. Still sort of the same general-ish area. It's intense. It's really intense. So I'm like, okay, let's just narrow down what's going on here. <clears throat> I sat down. I'm, I wrote down R and D. We're going to write our notes. We're going to get our responses. I look at the R, Republican. I see the letters in my head. I see the colors. And then I get this foamy hydrogen peroxide thing going on. It has always been about sterilization with this group. So I immediately got up and put um, peroxide in my plant water because obviously it needs to be done because I saw bugs and I remember this as a remedy. And I thought, oh my gosh, I saw bugs on my plants. I know I need to do this. Maybe I just had a, a memory flush at that point where I'm like, oh, I remember I need to do this. My plants are buggy. Sometimes I list, I go uh, by smell. So if I'm making a list for Target or, or, you know, grocery shopping, I'm like, what is it that I needed? And I concentrate on it and I smell it. I'm like, oh, that's right. I need to I need to get more kale. I don't. I ran out of that. I. That's how my grocery list goes sometimes. So, the hydrogen peroxide I'm going to give to the RNC because I feel I've always gotten that vibe of sterilization. The DNC, <laughs> the other side, and I will separate these soon. I get green peas. Um, I don't know. It's season. I don't grow any. Uh, I have access to some in the freezer. So I'm like, hmm, it's a substitute. You know, we substitute green pea um, for meats. We use the green peas as protein to substitute meats. Is that kind of a hint or something like that? Is it opportunities that are spilling out all over and you can't grab at them there's there's some relationship to that 
the color green is the color four. It is the number four for me. Um, so, you know, it's healing, it's self-love, it's the heart chakra. Maybe I just want it to be more of a green pea energy than the other one. So, that's what I got. I got up, I did my business, put the hydrogen peroxide in the plant water, came back down thinking, okay, is this a good time to do a reading? I picked up, I have two separate decks here. One is the Golden Tarot, one is the Forgotten Ones. The DNC one, or the RNC one, uh, the Golden Tarot, which I used in a lot of readings in the past for the same party. The Eight of Swords came out, okay? I thought, okay. That's sort of a general vibe on the RNC. Eight of Swords, maybe there's some cybersecurity oh. issue, I'm not really sure. DNC. Shuffle the cards. What is the overarching vibe? This is as this sort of energy is coming in. Green peas and stuff like that. Eight of Swords. <laughs> Same card, two different decks for both parties. Could be could be a cybersecurity thing. I don't know. So I'm going to show you, I'm putting the card back in the middle of the deck. I'm going to continue to shuffle for both of them. We'll do the RNC first. That one is um, July 15th through the 18th. I will do a sort of revised mental health spread uh, because it's not on a specific person. It's on the sort of convention itself. How is it going to kind of want to manifest itself? All right, let's just call it like that. So I did get a chance to watch a couple of minutes of the video getting ready for the RNC in Milwaukee on YouTube. And honestly, I'm like, what am I doing? They're very excited. I think they're very guarded. That was the that was the feeling. So that's just my take on it. You know, you guys, this is all for entertainment purposes only, and only to help you put a picture together that to remember that a lot of it is all theater, okay? So during these conventions is when we um, confirm, choose, and celebrate who the vice president is going to be. I haven't even given a flying rat's ass about, because I'm not investing a lot of time in Donald right now, all right? So the first card for the RNC will be appearance. How does it look? Is Are they uh, looking more militant? Is it just sort of freshening up the city, getting the plant guys to come in and make everything look awesome? Appearance, general appearance. Oh, Ace of Swords. So you're gonna see a lot of caps and, and a lot of footage. They're gonna make that clear. as if he didn't get enough treats today. He's over here, kind of giving me the side eye, right? Speech or speeches, how does it go? How does it project? Here's where, I don't know if it's cyber stuff or speaker issues or how they're gonna navigate sort of curbing the dialogue, but speech is definitely anxious, highly anxious pressures. Kind of felt that way. Giblets, come here, buddy. Come here. You're a big dog. Affect. What is the general feeling of the place? You walk into this. How do they express themselves, right? Ooh, look. If I were going to say that I did this reading for uh, Vice President thing okay I'd say they are expressing their emotions in a high priestess kind of way 
right? So I think who sometimes holds secret knowledge, that might be the affect or the expression of emotion. Come here, come here, come here. I can't put the cards down, then the people don't, they'll think I rigged it, so I'm gonna go through the whole thing, okay? Thought content, fantasy versus reality. What kind of platform are we building for the people? Fanny Khan. Fanny Khan. He's just like so stubborn. You want this dog seriously? Oh my gosh. Fantasy versus reality. So this is trying to create um, a platform where you're looking to the future. You're looking out. This is what they're going to try to generate or learn through this. Thought process. Okay, you guys just have to trust me. I'm going to grab the dog and, and put him on my lap. Okay. Come here. Come here, sweetie. you got to be like this. You've got to be like this. Oh, my goodness. You're lucky they like you back. <sighs> okay. Guess you want to pull some cards, too. Thought process. So, can they convince you of their reality? I like the way that one went. Eight of Cups. It looks like if they're going to try and get you to their reality, I think they're asking you to move away from something you're emotionally attached to. That's what they're going to try and do. Try and leave the emotion out of it, maybe. Perception of reality. Okay. Perception of reality is, oh shit, my, I'm turning blue. That's that one. And then insight, or what motivates you. What, I think what motivates them is probably just stepping away. What motivates them is hoping this clears it, clears a way for a smoother exit. Current frame of mind. This one's important. This one's important. The focus is on her. I don't know who she is, but this is the one you gotta pay attention to. This one. Alright? She's snazzy. Then I'm gonna move over to the DNC once I flush that energy off of me. I don't think Jibbles are you worried about the rain storm? Or just want me to help you finish your food puzzle over there? Oh my gosh, you guys, this dog is such a baby. Okay, so the DNC, green peas, August 19th through the 22nd, 2024, United Center, McCormick Place, I think it's, it's not that close to me, maybe four miles just south, and um, historically, <laughs> Not a great experience for the Chicagoland area. So I think everyone's feeling guarded just because of the heightened um, sense of drama, the wars, the things that we need to fix in our own local yet we are forced to cater to them adapting our city and it's not easy uh, but we're little warriors so it's gonna be okay right all right dnc august 19th giblets needs to just lean on my lap i don't know why let's start this spread and see what's going on so appearance, how is it going to look? At the United Center. Yeah, 
it's not a great building I think there might be some there might be some water issues flooding um, lead in the water they won't be able to their bottled waters contaminate something there's some issue with water no surprise there this might be part of a flooded situation that that area gets frequently anyway speech how are the speeches going to be directed so I gotta say this right this like when I see this I definitely think about that sort of green peas and maybe disliking them and making a face like that or just appealing to the parts that are disorganized okay um, I'm just pulling cards you guys like this is this is just the way this is showing up how are they expressing themselves emotionally okay that we need to move quickly this is the chariot okay and that is a cancer vibe cancer is the safety security home ruled by the moon so how are they expressing themselves emotionally with a card that is moon ruled I think they are emotional <laughs> I think they're gonna try and make you cry so we'll see about that thought content are they putting forward a reality or a fantasy so that we can sort of grab onto that all right this is the page of swords so it looks like it, it, honestly a lot of this looks like there is going to be some kind of um technological interference that there's something that's cut off that they might um generate narrative that want you to discontinue communication with something else the other side another party thought process how are they um yeah thought process how are they able how are they trying to create a response from us basically your ass is going to be left out in the cold if you don't do how we do maybe I think that's what they're trying to generate is that sort of narrative that your rights as human beings will be dampened if we allow something else to happen other than what we have to do for you right insight or what motivates you <laughs> the tower so what is motivating you is a sudden change a sudden realization a uranus driven sign right after we have a significant conjunction between Mars and Uranus there is going to be a change this is what motivates you that things can change on a dime okay so I think they're prepared enough current frame of mind let's do current frame of mind controlling controlling thinking about the cost I think that these things because we cop so many hotel rooms and we double the staff that these are not always situations where that we benefit from financially which is why we try to generate things like NASCAR 
and stuff like that. So I think we are taking a dive with this financially and they know it. And I think a lot of this um, that's sort of running its thread through both of them is that there might be some disruption in communication in uh, cyber issues or being able to actually broadcast this the way they're supposed to be, they intend to be. Whew. With that being said, that's it for me and politics today on a Sunday, but it's getting more and more interesting and I want to not um, feed into the fear that we are going to be staring straight into the face of a disaster or the last years of, you know, when Trump was in office, it's not going to be like that. I'm not going to invest in that because it's not going to be that way. So we will see what happens at the DNC. We'll see what happens at the RNC. Maybe I'll get some information uh, if I get a chance to watch that next week. The RNC, we'll see. You know, just don't um, feed your anger. You know, don't feed it. And that kind of stuff is fuel. It's all fuel. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry about the minor disruptive dog barking, but you guys know Joe Blitz. When he wants something, he does not relent. So, thank you so much for hanging in there. I love you guys. We'll see you for uh, uh, Dr. Vicki and I want to do a Mystic Sisters episode live i have to get on Streamyard and or at least download it so that we can actually execute this on friday and i am working that night or we'll see, we'll see what's going on we're I'm trying to schedule some meetings during the day as well thank you thank you love you love you we'll see you soon and giblets also loves you back thanks